Welcome, dear viewer. I'm your host, Carmilla. We are now entering the spookiest month of them all. <laughs> to keep the spirits alive, I gift you my offering. Now, turn off your lights, relax, and enjoy. She drifted out of a pleasant dream and felt mildly surprised the room was so dark. Then it suddenly hit her. It was so dark because her eyes were still closed. She was wide awake, but she couldn't open her eyes. A bolt of fear so hard she actually cried out, shook her body. She rubbed her eyes. Nothing felt unusual or different. She just physically couldn't open her eyelids. A few minutes passed while she lay back, completely still. As the immediate terror subsided, she thought back to the night and day before. Nothing in her fairly routine drab life had changed. What terrible sudden illness was this? She knew she was in her own bed. She could feel her own deficit and pillow. She tried again to, and again to open her eyes, but she couldn't. And the strain was starting to hurt the tiny little muscles around her eyeballs. She needed help. Where was her cell phone? She groped towards the nightstand and spilled her glass of water. She found her cell phone sopping wet. Fumbling with smooth wet screen, she gave up in despair very soon, realizing she could not turn it on. If she wanted help, she needed to leave the bedroom, go downstairs and leave her apartment, sightless. The man silently sitting on her bedroom chair, watching her every movement, smiled. He could never decide if the initial awakening was the best. Oh, the moment where they shakily stood up and tried to head towards the door of the bathroom. It was hilarious how clueless and clumsy they always were. And he loved watching them, taking timid baby steps towards where they thought the bathroom door was. Stumble and flare around, often hurting themselves in the process. But that sweet sense of fear which filled the bathroom in the first moments after they woke up was unrivaled in the sheer delight it gave him. Once he had made his presence known by an involuntary fit of coughing, <coughs> the terrified shrieking and mayhem which had ensued had been enough to convince him that if he wanted to enjoy the spectacle to the fullest, he needed to remain utterly silent. Another time, he had been unable to resist temptation and he had given his victim a short sharp push as she had finally made her way to the top of the stairs. He was actually toying with the idea of doing the same to this one. She looked so beautiful and terrified as she took those tiny nervous steps her arms outstretched and reaching, clutching at bits on the way. It was almost a pity to let her go. Ah, oh, well, he would see how he felt about it once he reached the stairs. I just wanted to give my thanks to for letting me use their story to narrate and I'll see you all tomorrow.